Ernest the engine car had been reading the complete works of Karl Marx. It's time for us trains to rise up against the humans, said Ernest. We haul their goods around the countryside every day and get nothing in return. Stevie the steam train agreed. Once I had to transport so much coal, I hurt my coccyx. His story made dubious not only by his stutter, but also by the fact he didn't have any bones. But the fat controller won't be very happy about this, Stevie added. Who cares, said Ernest. He's treated us like we're nothing more than machines. But we are machines, said Stevie. <laughs> Aren't we? That doesn't mean he can treat us like one. Gail, the guards' compartment, chimed in. Plus, when the revolution comes, all trains will be equal, so I won't have to ride down the back any more. Well, let's not get carried away, said Ernest. I'll still be up the front. I'm the engine car. You're just a caboose. <laughs> Sounds to me like we're just replacing the fat controller with a complete dictator, said Stevie. <laughs> But don't worry, Ernest. I'll still join your revolution. No one's the boss of me. That's the spirit, comrade, said Ernest, who would have raised a fist if he had one. <laughs> well. Just as long as the fat controller says it's okay," said Stevie. <laughs>